Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we're watching Drive. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today, we are diving on into a movie that has been on my list for literally years and that is Drive. I've heard that this movie is good. I don't really know anything about it aside from the fact that Ryan Gosling is the lead. I heard that his performance is great, but I really don't know what the premise of this movie is or what the story is about. The main reason that it's been on my list for so many years to check out is because Tyler has suggested that I watch it a lot and pretty much whenever Tyler suggests that I check a movie out, I know that that movie is gonna be good. Even if it's not necessarily my cup of tea, I know the movie's gonna be good. Tyler has pretty impeccable taste in movies and I trust him implicitly. And usually when he likes something, I also tend to like something. There have been a couple times where maybe he likes something and I hate it or I like something and he hates it. Occasionally that will happen, but the majority of the time we tend to agree. So this movie has been on my list since well before I even had a YouTube channel where I reacted to movies. So I'm really excited today to hop on into it. This is one that I kind of just made an executive decision to watch. Normally, I do polls over on my Patreon page. If you don't know, I do have a Patreon page. I always link it in the description bar down below. I do watch along style format videos over there so you can watch my full length reactions to everything as well as vote in polls and help me decide what I watch next. But occasionally, I just decide to watch things. And this is one of those times I had put this movie, I think in two or at least three, maybe even three polls and it kept losing, <laughs> which is fine because other great movies were winning. I mean, I think the last time I put this in a poll, it might've gone up against seven and that was an incredible watch. So no regrets on those previous polls, but I think I just finally made the decision to watch this movie. Plus people on my Patreon page <laughs> could tell that I wanted to watch this one and they were kind of encouraging me to, to just watch it um, and to stop putting it in polls. I think, some people over on my Patreon uh, just want to see me react to stuff I want to from time to time. And I really do appreciate that. If you're one of those people who has sent those kind comments or messages, I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support. Again, I don't really know anything about the premise of this movie or the story. I haven't really read the log line or anything like that. I did see that it is an action drama, which makes sense from the cover. He's standing in front of a car. I think I've seen him holding a gun. I mean, I would assume that it's an action movie from seeing that on a cover so i'm excited i'm excited to see ryan gosling and see another side of him he's definitely a great actor and i think it'll be a good time so with all that being said guys i think we should hop on into this movie so if you guys are ready grab a drink grab a snack and let's get into the movie anything happens in that five minutes and i'm yours anything happens a minute either side of that and you're on your own do you understand no what's happening so he gets hired for five minutes to drive people? Are we in LA? I saw the game was Toronto, Los Angeles, so I'm just, I'm assuming LA. Hmm. Hmm. I liked that shift of the focus of the lighting. Yes, I like it. I like it already. Hey, there you are. Brian Cranston. Oh my God, I haven't seen him in so long. There she is. Chevy Impala, most popular car in the state of California. Oh. That's so funny, we pass all these cool looking cars and then he lands on the Chevy Impala. I love the staging of that sequence, that's so great. Definitely LA. I don't know if you can get anywhere in LA in five minutes, maybe. Not nowadays, there's traffic at all times of the day. Look at his driving gloves. Puts a watch on it. Oh, to be like, it's exactly five minutes and I trust my watch over the car's clock, that's funny. Look at him, so professional, opens the door for them. All good drivers do that. Come on. You better go. You better go. The five minutes are going to be up. Oh my God, the suspense is actually killing me. Come on. Wow, so slow. Hey, get it, get it. <sighs> you just wasted a minute of your time, bro. They already got the car. So there were cameras, huh? They had to have seen him. Do they not see him? Wow, so they hire this guy's services to help him with robberies? This guy is a professional. He's smooth. Are we behind the cop? What a bold move. He was behind the cop. Oh, the helicopter's looking. Got a visual heading west on 7th Street Bridge. Now it's time to run, huh? Now it's time to go. 
Because he was spotted. And yeah, in that kind of scenario, you want to go like try hiding in parking garages or some and just waiting it out, you know, when they got the helicopter. This is so exhilarating. I feel like I'm in Grand Theft Auto, but like better cinematics. Oh, they're gonna go to a gang shooting instead. See, this is the thing in LA, you just gotta be the least important or the least dangerous crime happening because they'll drop it, other things pop up. Wow, he only has five minutes on the clock though, right? What happens when the five minutes are up? Is he just gonna dump him somewhere with the money? Like, I feel like five minutes had to have passed by now. Dispatch, this is one out of six. Possible suspect vehicle sighted at stoplight. Stand by. The war ring, the dramatic war ring. He's gonna try to pull you over, bro. He's gonna pull you over. Oh my God, the way they shot this is so cool. Like they, it's like feels messy, like not like a stable cam, like a hand, somebody who's filming with a hand cam. I like it, it's so messy. It's not gonna go, gets a Time winding down. And it's lining up with the game of him winning, of LA winning with him trying to. Parking garage, yeah. Oh, he's going to the sporting event. Smart, because there's so many cars here. Wow. And now he's like, you're done, I'm done. Nice. Look, he's got a disguise. And it's not his car, so it doesn't matter. I mean, he is so smooth. A smooth criminal. Oh my God. That was so cool. <laughs> wow. I love the way they staged that, like they wrote that whole scene with it being in tandem with the game and him using that as not only escape method, but like getting the last goal just in time or the last uh, basket, I guess, because it's a basketball game. What's with the scorpion on his jacket? Does that have any meaning? I feel like it should. Is he, oh, he's a security guard, huh? Or is he a cop? Director wants to see a role over. You okay with that? Oh, is he acting? Oh, he's an extra? I mean, you're, you're doubling for the star, you know? Like ah, he's a stand-in. Ah. And I got you 500 more, huh? What does is, what is Brian Cranston do? He does so much. That's so funny that they'd hire him as a stand-in when the actor's bald, like you wouldn't just hire a bald guy. Basically releases liability to the company in case you die, get me. Oh, st oh. Oh, is he a stunt driver? Holy shit. Yeah, that, that makes sense, actually. That makes way more sense. That makes way more sense. Oh my God, though. That's fantastic. Oh, Brian Cranston can't even run. Wow, that is a scary job. Ugh. Is that how they do things? Can they not just put like a doll in there? <laughs> is it Carrie Mulligan? It is, it's Carrie Mulligan. <laughs> I could tell. Cause you know, her name was like second on the title cards. So she's gotta have a big part. Oh, her car's not working. Oh, he, he drove him home, that's nice. Oh, look, yeah. <laughs> Kid is so cute. Oh, that's Benicio's father. Where is he? He's in prison. Oh, fun. What do you do? <laughs> Commit crimes. <laughs> Stunt driver too. <laughs> you mean all the car chases and stuff? Is that dangerous? It's not as dangerous as his side hustle. <laughs> it's only part time. <laughs> Mostly I work at a garage. Oh, a garage. Maybe you could get her car fixed. Maybe you'll have to see her again. Mr. Rose, I wouldn't come to you with this unless I was absolutely sure about it. How can you be sure, Shannon? What do you got that the big professional race teams don't? Oh, he's a driver. I got the driver. Yeah. You put this kid behind the wheel. There's nothing he can't do. Did we ask the kid if he wants to do it? But I want to meet the kid first. That's all I ask. What a sharp cut. Damn. Good driving out there. Thanks. Ugh, not very charming. <laughs> I'll give you 300 for 70%. That's, that's a pretty good offer. Right, good. Oh, you won't shake his hand. Oh, interesting. Poor Shannon, why won't you shake his hand? Uh, it just broke out. Oh yeah, they are gonna fix her car, great. Oh, he's smitten like a kitten, look at him. I just keep trying to figure out like wherever they are in LA every time they're driving around. I love how you can see the little kid in the rear view mirror. That is amazing. The framing of that shot. Oh, did you take him down to the aqueduct? Oh, she didn't have a seatbelt on though. Oh, lots of trash, fun. And it's so funny, like this romantic, soft, like lighting peeking through the trees. It's golden light. I'm having this romantic moment. This beautiful creek and trees, but they're also surrounded by trash. <laughs> he had a good time. Aww. 
She's like, ooh, he can, he works with his hands. He's a good driver and he likes my kid. He takes care of my kid. Hmm. Okay. Oh, so much staring. Oh, so, so much tension. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't be here. <laughs> I feel like I'm interrupting. I'm not doing anything this weekend. Cool. Cool. If you want to ride or something. <laughs> <laughs> These two are not very, not very talkative. They just kind of stare at each other and smile. <laughs> like it's very sweet, but I genuinely felt like I shouldn't, like it, like it was PDA, like I should not be there. They were having such a private, intimate moment with each other. I felt like intrusive. Interesting. That's even that shot. Even that framing was so interesting because he's like sitting there smiling, but then the, the only thing next to him in frame is a photo of Benicio with his dad. Wow. The framing of the shots has just been like so smart and cool this whole time. Did Shannon ever tell you how we met? I used to produce movies in the 80s. Anyway, he arranged all the cars for me, did all the stuff. He got involved with some of Nino's friends. They didn't go for the overcharging bit. They broke his pelvis. This is a threat. So anything you need, you call me. We're a team now. The whirring music underneath just feels so ominous and scary. Like, it just felt like a threat but also not at the same time. It was weird. I don't know. This movie is a lot, so far, much more slow paced than I was expecting when I saw the, you just, you see action movie and you think like, oh, bam, bam, bam. That was my husband's lawyer. He's coming home in a week. Oh, that's what the phone call was. Oh, no. <gasps> he stopped. Oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sound design, it's like it's all in his head now. Oh, is he in his apartment alone and is, oh, they're having a welcome home party for, oh. How, how long was he in prison for, I wonder? I wonder what he did. Oh, it's Oscar Isaac. So I want to make a toast for that lady right there. Oh. Thanks for staying. Oh, God. I love you, Amy. Oh, God. Why do I feel like that's the first time I've heard her name? Oh, no, but Ryan Gosling planted the seed. She's thinking of somebody else now. Oh, no. Oh, he looks sad, too. Man, I didn't realize this was gonna be like a romantic movie too. Hi, uh, this guy's been telling me a lot about you. Uh-huh. Says you've been uh, coming around helping out a lot. Yeah, helping out. Uh-huh. Is that right? Uh-huh, you have no right to be jealous about it, sir. I mean, you can be jealous. Actually, you should be jealous, I guess, but I was, you have no right to say anything about it, really. Let mommy talk to her friend. Uh-oh, so much tension. You have a good night. <laughs> it's funny, I was thinking like, you have no right to be jealous, but I'm like, actually, he should be jealous. <laughs> I just wanna know how long he was in prison for and what he was in prison for. Not that not that it really affects how I look at him, I'm just kinda curious, like how long he's been gone for. I guess it would affect it if he murdered somebody, but. Like about last year. He drove me and my brother back from Palm Springs. Oh, 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 like on a criminal drive? I got this sweet job coming up. Uh, how about this? Shut your mouth. I'll kick your teeth down your throat and I'll shut it for you. Ooh. Nice saying you again. <laughs> it was a different side of you, Ryan. I don't know what this guy, I forget what his name is. I feel like we've just been heard him called Kid over and over and over again. Or the driver. Like maybe he doesn't have a name in the script. Come on, it's okay. Come here. Don't tell mommy, okay? <gasps> okay, it's a secret between the four. Oh, damn. This guy's a dangerous guy to have on your bad side, but like, also this kid just needs like some stability and some safety. He deserves like, you know, a good father figure. Who are they? <laughs> are you gonna go beat them up for me? <laughs> There's some guys that want me to do a job for them and I'm not gonna do it. You want me to rob a pawn shop in the valley? Cause I owe him some protection money from when I was inside. They said they're gonna come after Benicio and Irene next. Oh, Rainy. It's a nickname for Irene. Okay. Oh, God. You just pissed the driver off, okay? He's gonna go after him. You ain't gonna let that happen. <gasps> Silly bands! I haven't seen those in so long. One of those men gave you that? Oh, God. He told me not to lose it. You want me to keep that for you? Okay. Okay, well now I understand why it's gonna become an action movie. We had to get invested. Now this character has something to lose, people he cares about. 
I have a feeling he's about to go commit some crimes and not be able to be the race car driver because he wants to protect Rainey and Benice. If I drive for you, you get your money. So I give you five minutes when we get there. Anything happens in that five minutes. And oh, he's repeating the speech, but now to standard. You got Blanche. Come on, man. <laughs> She's beautiful. Look at her. Christina Hendricks? That's so funny. Her name is Blanche. Like Blanche Dubois. Wow. This is such an interesting story. I wasn't like expecting this guy to come back and to like get out of prison and then for this story to take this turn. I just, but I'm like so invested because of the way all the, their relationship has progressed so slowly in the beginning. I'll see you in five minutes. I feel bad for him. He doesn't want to be doing this, you know? See you in four. Oh, okay, great. I feel bad for him. He just, he just does, he just wants to be out of jail, you know? She's in stilettos. She's going to do the job in stilettos. Oh, he flipped the sign. And they're like, it looks like they're way out in the middle of like nowhere. So how do you hide when you're driving in this situation? Oh God, that ticking is so fast and stressful. Who's that? Who's that? They have tinted windows, I don't like that. I don't trust that other car. Are they gonna shoot her? Is he not gonna come out in five minutes? Is he gonna get shot? I'm scared, I'm, it's silent. <laughs> Was it those guys? Did they shoot him? The guys that are chasing him? It must have been them, right? Because the shop owner came out at the same time and I... Oh, God. Now I really feel like we're in Grand Theft Auto. Oh Christina Hendricks, buckle up and shut up! <laughs> Smart. He was driving backwards! You know, one would think that this Mustang would have no problem staying away from this, this other car. I don't even know what that logo is. Is that a Chrysler? What is that? He made them crash. Holy shit. Standard died. Oh my God. Stay here. Who's she dialing? God damn it. Other details are unclear, but the owner of the pawn shop told reporters that Gabrielle acted alone and that no money had been stolen. It was a setup. It was just a complete and total setup. Yeah, it was a complete and total setup. Blanche was in on it. Yep. That's so awful. I'm a little slow, guys. Sorry, took me a minute. <laughs> I should have realized that when there was a car waiting, <laughs> honestly, at the pawn shop. But uh, I knew something sus was up, but damn, that's just, that's so sad. Did you have any idea there'd be a second car? Of course she did. Now what did Cook tell you? Well, Cook is on his way, so you should just move. You're gonna take me to him. Oh, he's coming, I'm sure. Or someone's on their way. She's been texting somebody. Does she have a weapon? She's got a phone. What is she doing? Maybe it's just lipstick. All right, whatever. I don't trust her when she cries because of her role in Firefly too. She always plays these mischievous, two-faced kind of criminal characters. She's gonna get killed, holy <laughs> Holy wait, her head was just blown off. <sighs> Cameron, we're gonna have to blur that for YouTube. <laughs> Oh, that's gotta hurt! Oh God, you know, I just, you really just got yourself into a mess. All just trying to help Irina Benicio. And now look at you, dude. You're just in a mess. Oh my God, he's covered in blood. He's covered. Man, it just went from a robbery gone wrong to you or murdered some people. Granted, it was in self-defense, but still. Where's Cook? It's over there. <laughs> she doesn't give a f Man. Oh. Oh, that guy, yeah. Look at some of them aren't even phased. That's so funny. Cameron, we got a lot of boobies to censor. Okay. <gasps> I really don't want to see that. Somebody call Nino. Nino. It's Nino. The bullet. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> My gag reflex is so sensitive just to even like imagery. Ah, uh -huh. man, it's Nino. You got some belongs to me. Wow, I can't believe it's Nino. That's crazy. I want to give you a time and a place and you're going to come and get it. Do you understand? Oh, he's shaking. He just wants to be left alone. You're not very good at this, are you? Oh, you didn't give him a time and a place. I guess he'll call back later. Go check out who this guy is. 
Is that the guy that was in the diner? Can I just walk with you for... I wouldn't want to leave Benicio alone, ever. Uh, don't leave him alone. Makes me nervous. I have to tell you something. Unless you're just going to talk in the hallway, that's fine. Standard was into some guys in prison for a lot of money. And they were going to hurt you and Benicio if you didn't pay it. I bet the elevator is going to ding just at the right time in this confession. He asked me for my help. I still got the money. You could take Benicio and... I knew she was going to slap him. I could look out for you. Sorry, yeah. Uh, wrong floor. Uh-oh, it's that guy. Holy shit. Oh my god, it's that guy. He's telling her to stay in the elevator. He's kissing her. Oh, wow. Guys. Okay, wow, that was so funny. It's a slow motion romantic kiss with the lighting and him, like, because it might be his last moment with her. Wow, did he just... Okay, 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 I get it. I get it. I think you did it. I think you killed him. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, everything's different now, huh? Oh, my God. You should have taken the money and left the guy alone. It's not that simple, Bernie. Yeah, you should have. You know, I owe you this guy. Just give me a little time and I'll get rid of him. <laughs> this hand's all beat up. This is something off to the side, Bernie. I didn't want to involve you in this. Well, I'm involved now. Exactly. You got him involved. He's got to go. Your pal Shannon. I mean, these Ugh. are the only two guys who can tie me to this robbery. Or you got to go, Nino. Oh. And that guy at the table eating the sandwich? Are they going to shoot him? Funny, this oh he's his jacket he's still wearing it it's covered in blood bro get a new jacket you look so sus oh my god it's funny this movie like the pacing of it is really slow but with moments of like jarring speed and then slow again slow 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 something crazy happens speed uh slow 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 it's like interesting because like the movie itself the runtime isn't very long oh is he gonna steal that as a disguise <laughs> that's hilarious how did he sneak on set? Did he still have his badge from the one day? Even though it's All like- All these priceless cars. Oh shit. One would think you'd have better locks. Yeah. Oh God. He's gonna shake his hand before he kills him. Please don't kill him the same way you killed the other guy. Don't worry, don't, don't worry. That's it. It's done. Why does he like knives? 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 Why does he like knives so much? Can't he just f shoot somebody in the head? It's quicker. He really loves knives. Oh, oh, he really likes knives. Okay. Shannon probably even knew where, where the driver was too. And didn't say anything. Do they turn the pizzeria into a nightclub? Oh, the disguise. <laughs> this is so creepy, this mask, but I love this. I think it's like such an interesting choice to have this like sweeping romantic ballad as the song for this sequence. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Is he gonna come out of this darkness? Yeah. It makes sense that the car would be his weapon of choice. Wow, the car he has isn't even like dented. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Man, I would not want to see this guy with this mask coming after me. Where are you going to go? Huh? You just going to swim away? Whoa, that transition was trippy. Are we just implying that he died? You know the story about the scorpion and the frog? The scorpion! Your friend Nino didn't make it across the river. Oh, that was the river? Not the ocean? Well, no, it's a metaphor. Now he's coming for Bernie! You, me, and your girlfriend are the only players left. 
Yeah, Bernie knows about the girl. It's problematic. There's just so many people have died in the span of like 20 minutes. I have to go somewhere and I don't think I can come back. Is he gonna die? I don't want him to die. Oh no. I like that I at least, we, we got a reference to the scorpion and the frog story and some more understanding for maybe why he likes that jacket. Oh, I wouldn't want to sit too close to this guy. He likes knives. You give me the money, the girl is safe. I can't offer you the same. This is what I would suggest. We conclude our deal, we'll shake hands. He'll slit your wrist. I feel so bad for this guy, man. He did all this just to help. He should have never gotten involved. <laughs> he was okay with dying, but he knew he had to kill Bernie so that Irene would really be safe. Oh, this Bernie guy just really likes to kill people in the most painful ways. He's so so horrible. <laughs> Damn, Ryan Gosling did a really good job of not blinking. That would actually be so hard for me. I blink so much. Oh, he's not dead? Or is he just in heaven now? What? No, he's fine? He's, well, not fine, but he's, he's alive? He survives? Wow, what a twist. They really got me with that. I was like, he's dead. All right. Is he going to answer? Is he in there? She's probably about to break down. Like, oh my God, he's dead. Oh my God, what, uh, what did I do? Why can't I just like a nice guy that's not mixed up in this criminal <laughs> Wait, did he leave? Did he leave her? He's not going back to her? He probably doesn't want to like have her get mixed up with him in case people come after him. He wants her to stay safe. Oh, it's so sad. Oh, when was this movie made? 2011. Oh my God, it's like relatively new. I, I, I figured it wasn't like old, old. 10 years ago. Well, no, <laughs> 11 years ago. Oh God, how time flies. <laughs> What an interesting story and so well made. Oh my gosh. Just from the moment this movie started, I was obsessed <laughs> with the lighting. It was just perfect. I think the framing of the shots was so smart throughout the movie. Like you would just see little things in the frame that would just tell you a little bit about a character's backstory or it was just signifying something really important. Like even just the frame with Ryan Gosling's character kind of starting to fall in love with like, you know, Irene and Benicio and just really like being happy around them. But like the only other thing in that shot is a photo of Benicio with his real father like that. Th there's just so many shots like that in this movie that evoke such a strong emotion. Um, I think it was really beautifully directed, not only the cinematography and the staging, but I mean, even little elements of the set design, the acting. The writing was so smart. I mean, it was just a great movie. It was really good. The story definitely took a lot of turns that I wasn't really expecting. Uh, it was interesting because I, I, it was only an hour, 40 minutes, but it did actually feel a lot longer because the pacing was so slow and drawn out. And so for the first like 20, maybe 30 minutes or so of the movie, you know, we're not really having a lot of action. It's just backstory, just kind of getting to know a bit about these characters, watching Ryan Gosling's character fall in love with Carrie Mulligan's character and getting invested in their relationship so that when Benicio's father does get out of prison and we're introduced to Oscar Isaac's character, you feel this tension, you feel this empathy for all the characters involved, um, and you're a lot more invested in their relationships working, and then the action really picks up from there. Yeah, I wasn't expecting, I didn't know that it was going to be like, such a crime drama in a way. Um, it was it was really like a romantic drama mixed with crime action. But the amount of suspense because the pacing was just so slow really had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. There was so much tension. And even the ending was like, you know, we didn't really get this happy ending. You kind of think you're going to get this happy ending when Ryan Gosling's character is alive in the end. Um, and then we cut to Carrie Mulligan, you know, knocking on his door. And you're like, oh, my God, they're going to get to be together. This is so special. But... No, he did it to protect her and he left uh, knowing that she would be safer without him. So it actually had a really sad ending in a, in a way because he did survive, but he couldn't really be with the one person who made him feel special and happy for the first time in his life. So beautiful, so well done. And the sound design too, the sound design was just spectacular. I love, I love when sound design has like a, a real intentional style to it. And I feel like this sound design, anytime we heard like works that were seemingly made for the movie, um, 
I don't know if they were, but it seems like a lot of the instrumental music, the warping sounds, the music that didn't have words, it seemed like a lot of that was really just like designed for this. We'd cut to certain things on certain beats and it would just really amplify the songs. The warping just, there were so many times when not only did it like increase the tension and the suspense, but it also made me feel like if it was super warped and muffled, I felt like I was in Ryan Gosling's head. I just keep calling him Ryan Gosling because he's the driver. I don't think they gave him a name. I think they just called him the kid or the driver the whole time. But there were times when I felt like I was in his head depending on how muffled that sound was and then times when we were pulled out of it or you know, just something as subtle as Carrie Mulligan's character, Irene, saying, I got a call from my lawyer and um, standards getting out of jail. You know, we have this happy romantic theme kind of playing and then all of a sudden that just shifts and it's totally muffled and you feel like you're immediately pulled into his head, like he's completely retreated and gone inward and um, you just feel that pain and him bottling everything up inside because of that sound design. It's just genius. I love really intentional sound design like that. Even the songs that they chose, like especially that romantic ballad that they played after Brian Cranston's character, Shannon died, uh, leading up to Nino's death. That was just like so interesting because that's not a song you'd expect to hear in that moment, but it works so well <laughs> and it was so engaging. I just think a lot of the choices made throughout this movie were fantastic. I'm really happy that I've seen it now. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this movie with me. I know it's a little different from some of the stuff we do over here on my channel, but this is the kind of stuff that feeds my soul sometimes. I mean, so does all kinds of content, honestly. I feel like that's why I just love movies and shows because like all different stories and film styles can really like just get me excited and jazz. But I wanted to watch this movie for a really long time and I'm really happy that I have. It was really great. And I'm definitely looking forward to hearing your guys' thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more things like this. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I would love to hear them and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.